Hello everybody. Luca sent me this and said it is a part of a pinball machine and that he cannot make a sub D model out of it. Well, first of all, we don't have to have sub D models in any case, but here it seems this part should be round. This should probably be uh, straight edges in between this should be round and here we have triangles and we can say this is quite a tricky thing to make uh, a sub D model with it but it can be done so let me switch to modo and I start with a circle in top view and make it 12 sides and bring it out and I don't know I make it a hundred by uh, 100 millimeters and zero here a key now first we must rotate this around the Y and like this this must be 15 I guess yes and then we can take this edge here, Z key, and move it out, R key, bring it together to about 10%. Then I take this, Control X, Control V, select it, go to duplicate, uh, radial array, count of 12, around Y, action center, origin, and click in here. Then I run mesh cleanup and it has merged 24 vertices. Now I can select two edges here, up arrow key and then go to perspective view, W key, move it down to about here, that's okay. Then L key to select uh, the entire loop, then drop the tool and control select the bottom so they are not selected, Z key again, bring this down and shift select these edges again, R key, then we can bring them together. And finally, I want to merge all the vertices. So vertex, merge, automatic, OK. 48 have merged. And if we look at the polygon statistics now by vertex, you see we have 24 triangles. And triangles, sabotage, so pretty much all the tools in any sub D model, of course also in Modo, so we cannot live with them. So I go to the right view and the easiest way to convert these to quads is Shift C, cut through on the top here, select all these polygons and delete them. And you see now we have all quads. Now I can select the bottom here and Alt C, count of two, but symmetry. And let's see, I make this about 10%. And if I press the tab key now, you see we have a model which holds the shape, is all quads, and is subdividable. Okay, we have a little area of problems, namely the point is if I would uh, Z key, right click R and bring it in on the green circle, this would be okay if it is flat, but the problem is it is going upwards and now we have, this would look ugly you know 
so we may not have this area here. So let me undo it like so and then I go to the front view and select this middle part here, shift up arrow to here and then invert selection and delete. Now shift C again and I cut through the top here, yes, and then I select an etching here, Alt C, count of two, but this time uniform, like so. Then we can go to symmetry on X, and then I select these top vertices, Shift A, so we have only these. Then I select one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then go to vertex, align, uniform, OK. Go down to here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Control R. And once more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Control R. Enter. And now this is fixed. Now we can select this middle part here, L, shift up arrow to here, invert the selection and delete. Now we can go to duplicate, radial array again, count of 12, around Y, action center, origin, click in the viewport and happens again, happens always, Control Z. It's because we're in symmetry, so again, click in the viewport and now it's good and we can go to Vertex, Merge, Automatic, 60 have merged, sounds good. And now we don't have this problem anymore. If I take this now, um, Z key, right click to activate the tool, R key and on the green circle bring this in and up W. We, you know these edges here are now flat and it might be that this is already what we are looking for. I would like to have it really round so I add a single edge in here at about 80%, like so. Select these two edges and run Seneca Menar's perfect circle. The link to his scripts is in the description. And I add another single edge in here. And now this looks quite nice. So now we can finish the top, which is uh, not complicated. I think I remember it like this. So I put in a polygon, select this polygon, B for bevel, bevel it up a bit, shift click, bevel it up again and out, other way, shift click, bevel it up a little, shift click, bevel it up again and in like so, shift click, bevel it up, shift click, bevel it in, shift click, bevel it down, all the way down here. And then we can select an edge in here, one, two, and let's see, yes, L key, B for bevel, shift click and I want to have the square shape, good. And if I subdivide it now it holds the shape. Okay, now we can make the bottom. So I select this, Z key, right click to activate, R key and on the green circle bring it out a little 
then Seneca Menars perfect circle. That's a bit on the big side. Let's make it smaller, like so. Then Z key again, bring it down. And now I go to the side view and lift this up W. The reason why I make this volume here is in case we want to assign glass texture then it needs some thickness and I think this will work so R key like so then we can go and bridge this like so and now we need to harden some more edges so select an edge here one here this one and one here l key b for bevel again and bevel this in a bit and we are done that's it we have a sub d model the triangles still look tri like triangles here we have straight sides as the model uh, from Luca showed straight sides here this is round now if it should be uh, flat then we have to do it the same way as I did uh, up here with a vertex align but I think it must be round as well as these parts also must be round now I add a plane so shift click on here side view w key bring this to about here then m call it plane and go to the mesh m again this is a pin ball part and in top view I can select all this control copy control V W move it to about here then we can go to the render and mm, I should make the plane a bit bigger R key here now it's big enough like so then I give the plane uh, this aluminium and for I don't take a glass texture now because then you don't really see what we have here I use copper and an environment this one yes nice then I go up with the render level to 6 and make this bigger and render it and here we are I hope uh, this was helpful you liked it thanks for watching take care and have fun modeling with Modo see you some other time bye bye